Yo, good afternoon guys. Yeah, at the moment we are here in my usual way of the bike. But this time we are walking. Eh, yeah, I just want to give you an update. So basically, I just checked uh, this uh, before leaving the house that it's been 8 days since the last time I uploaded a video. Yeah, and that video is basically the one where I installed the yeah, bike carrier on my Suzuki Jimny. And after that, I didn't able to upload because I was editing the videos, but a lot of those uh, footages that I got has no sound or sometimes blurry. Eh, yeah, like what I've said, I mentioned to you a previous days before that, yeah, I think I need to change this uh, camera. This GoPro is giving me problem with those uh, bad footages. Yeah, and you know, it's very frustrating when you're editing a footages without sound. I have some footages that are good, but you know, like what I've said, it's not easy to edit a video like that. I actually installed that uh, by carrier uh, because uh, I went to Tea Garden. Uh, okay, let me show you. Tea Garden is the other side, is the other island of this uh, Nelson Bay. That uh, Tea Garden Hawks Nest area is still part of the Port Stephens Council. Yeah, so basically it's a beautiful place. Yeah, there is a bridge there that connects Tea Garden and Hawksness. It's uh, like a big town, but there's no so much. I mean, there are just uh, hotels, restaurants, and there's no really a shopping mall. But yeah, they have a uh, grocery, which is Aldi and Coles, if I'm not mistaken. And mostly a residential area, big houses, a beautiful environment. They have a river and of course this uh, big sea. Yeah, but yeah, I actually walk around there. It was nice. Here is the portages. The same like most park here in Australia, there is this uh, kind of a barbecue place where uh, yeah, you can use it for free. You just need to press the button and you can uh, grill or reheat a food. I am really tempted to eat uh, fish and chips. Long time I did not eat uh, fish and chips. So if you are planning to move, looking for a quiet, beautiful place, yeah, Tea Garden is. Uh, you can consider it. It's beautiful here, and they also have a police station. Yeah, on that side, that's the police station. Oh, I remember the other time that I was here was uh, during my uh, bike parking. So basically this was my first stop and I stay in I stay in one of the hotel. Yeah, I actually have my bike. Yeah, I brought it, but I don't know when or I am going to use it. There is the center of a uh, hawk's nest. It's just about a 5 minutes drive coming from a uh, tea garden. And it's also a good residential area like this and uh, this park and then this uh, water area park. Yeah, and there is actually a bar here, but I think they are closed. Open uh, three times a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it is beautiful here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Jimmy's Beach. I'm not really sure, but... Okay, let's go and walk on that side because I see that there are... It's a very long beach. And... Uh, yeah, there are some people there. You will notice the sand is very fine and white. Yeah, here in Australia, different color of the sand. And Stanwell Park in uh, Wulungung. Yeah, the color of the sand is uh, brown. Yeah, there are some people. Yeah, it's a very long beach. And there are more people on that side. It is actually a little bit cold So it's still tight so it's safe I'm feeling uh, cold We are now going to the place where I am going to sleep And another thing is that during the time when I was there it was really windy And so a lot of noise Yeah, even though I have this uh, wind map on this uh, camera It's still capturing the wind noise Not good 
So basically, basically that area is the Tea Garden Hawks Nest area. That is still part of the Port Stephen Council. Uh, for you to be able to get there, uh, you need to take a ferry which is about a one hour uh, ferry ride. Uh, or if you're going to drive by a car, it will also be one hour to drive. Yeah, it looks near but actually you need to go around to get to that uh, yeah, Tea Garden Hawks Nest area. And I actually stay, I sleep overnight in one camping ground in uh, Mongo Brass area. It's a little bit secluded, very less cars are going there, you, usually just campers. Yeah, and yeah, I paid $17 for the campground. I sleep in the car and a lot of people actually doing the camping during the time. And most of them are groups. They, I think they are students. And they have their tents, some are caravans, and some are sleeping on the cars like me and let's go and walk around here let's have a look to the different uh, kind of uh, camping car they have so just like this one this is just a regular barn but inside yeah they created some uh, bed and uh, kind of a table and then this one is uh, separate to the car car is removable and then that one they have a rooftop tent where they can sleep that drop top tent already included uh, the beddings yeah i was actually thinking of something like that but yeah that is heavy the carry load of my car is just uh, 30 kg maximum according to the car description and i'm going to make a copy first there are many mosquitoes here that was just an overnight stay and so the next morning yeah i just uh, drive around i actually have the annual pass for all the new south wales uh, national park but i don't have a four wheel drive pass and we're back here in uh hawk's nest yeah and there's a playground here and other uh, caravan park we're just going to have a look here oh, here in hawk's nest we are going to see the other side which is the Nelson Bay if you see the tower on top of the mountain that is where I am living yeah, there are some people here even on the other side there are some people and that one is the Shoal Bay Shoal Bay Little Beach Nelson Bay Corlet and on the far side is the soldier's point yeah there are more on this side and then the day after i meet uh, roy and cassie if you remember roy and cassie yeah they are they have been in my videos before roy and cassie is actually the one who gave me that uh, a lot of things actually yeah especially the wall clock that you are always see whenever i say the time the time it is now already 10 o'clock yeah that wall clock is actually coming, coming from Roy and Cassie. Yeah, we had a little bonding. Actually, I met them two times. On the first day, I went to their uh, accommodation and yeah, we eat. And aside from that, they also gave me a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, and then on the third day, by the time that they are going back to Sydney, I met them again and we eat in one of the restaurants somewhere in uh, yeah, Nelson Bay Town Center. And because it is now summer, I am expecting a lot of people that is uh, coming to come this place. And some of those, of course, are going to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually receiving a lot of uh, messages. And yeah, they are asking if uh, they can meet me. And I say, I always say yes. Yeah, the, the last one, I mean the previous one that I met is uh, the family of Kenneth. Yeah, I met uh, Kim, I met them like uh, three times already. Uh, actually, the previous one was the third time. And yeah, they are actually the one who gave me this uh, this one. Yeah, they gave it to me. Thank you, Kenneth. And it's really useful. Yeah, so basically those are the things that happened in the previous days. 
I mean previous weeks that I didn't able to upload the video yeah oh look at that there is one guy is uh, swimming yeah some yeah, it's a beautiful day today and I don't really have plan of buying a new camera yet a new GoPro or the GoPro Hero 11 because I saw some uh, review that the GoPro Hero 11 is uh, getting uh, really really hot easily so is that is not good yeah those are the basic or the most complaint that i am seeing in youtube actually the people are making a youtube video about the gopro just because of the heating problem that is why i will keep on using this uh, gopro hero 9 i will be just hoping that there will be no problem and so this is how it is here in albura marina at the moment there are actually many people yeah because you know it is summer now i mean a few days more before summer but the temperature is just good i mean it's more on hot side <laughs> even on that side there are many people i mean everywhere a lot of people now and that's it because i am hungry now uh, i am going home now and it is now four o'clock yeah i'm hungry i have this leftover rice and I'm just going to fry an egg. Oh, I actually have this one. Yeah, this is one of the food that is given to me by uh, Kenneth. This is a lechon paksi uh, pork. And I'm just going to put it here. Yeah, big pieces of meat for Going to eat it all And this is how it is Wow, look delicious It is actually hot today Look at this uh, skin of the pork Very soft 